got into real estate because you hate the nine to five and you hate people telling you what to do. Well, I've got news for you. This is what an actual schedule of a top producing agent looks like. The key to being a successful real estate agent is to follow a schedule. The great news is you can create what that perfect day schedule looks like for you. Maybe it means stopping at three so you can pick up your kids from school and have an actual evening to hang out with them. Maybe it means uh, working out at four o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the afternoon. That's the great thing about the perfect day schedule is you create what works for you. But some things to consider are time blocking, um, never deleting, just moving, and prioritizing. So first and foremost, time blocking. If you're gonna do lead follow-up, you wanna do that in a one to two hour, and it doesn't even matter the increment of the block, but you wanna do it in the block. Do all of your lead follow-up at once. If you're gonna batch record videos, you wanna block that in your schedule. If you're going to call all of your current clients that are under contract or actively listed, you wanna to wanna to do that in the same block of time. By blocking your schedule into different pieces, it definitely helps you just but naturally be more efficient rather than jumping from one task to the next. Um, another great thing about the perfect schedule is, as I mentioned, you can decide when you want to take your breaks and when you're going to do things, you can always move but never delete the priorities. So the first thing I do is put in the days in my calendar of every year is I put in the days that my kids have no school and half days and when we're going to take our vacations because that's a priority for me and i'm going to build my business schedule around that um, now new on my priority list is health and fitness for the last five years it hasn't been a focus of mine but now it is so i know what day and what times i'm going to go to the gym or what my plan b is should business opportunities arise then I can go to maybe the five o'clock workout session instead of the 12 o'clock workout session. Uh, so you can always move, but you can't delete. So what I recommend is for the next couple of days, you log what you naturally do when and what gets left off. So are you avoiding making calls by being busy and having to go to the grocery store? Um, write down what you're doing. One of my top agents told me he has two schedules in his phone. He has his planned schedule and then his actual schedule so that he can go back and look at what took natural priority over something that he thought was a priority and what he maybe wants to do differently in the following week. So as with most things in real estate, it all comes down to tracking. So I suggest that you plan a perfect day um, and you try to stick to it and just remember that if it's important, you can move it, you just can't delete it. Thank you.